hello welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a, another vlog i'm not sure if i'm going to add this into a vlog already or if i'm going to I'm not sure if i'm going to add this into a vlog or if i'm just going to start this as a new one but if so hey when i take care of janae don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave so i just got back from cleaning out my car um detailing the inside and stuff like that um i went to walmart dollar tree and got food just a couple little stores um yeah i got my day started because i had to work last night so from dollar tree i'm gonna do a little haul real quick um i just got this little picture frame these are all the picture frames that i have for my um like diploma degree certificate stuff like that um if you didn't know or if you didn't watch this vlog i got baptized a couple months ago and they gave me they gave me a certificate so i'm going to put that in here and showcase it so i got one of those and then i also got this <laughs> this is basically a um like a wall tile those little stick and peels um dollar tree actually sells them in walmart but walmart's are like 20 something dollars and i'm gonna actually like put this against my wall and see if it matches really good i think it'll match quite well i like the way this looks because my kitchen is black and white and i love the marble so if this fits and look really nice i'm just gonna go back and buy some more like i said it's from the dollar store they're dollar 25 so i feel like this would maybe be the cheaper option rather than buying the 25 dollar one that only has a couple in there so yeah we're gonna try this out and then I got, I wanna show this first. These are my heavier items. If you didn't know, Dollar Tree dishware is really good. So Dollar Tree glassware, I really, really love. Um, I just got, I have clear plates already, but I wanted some more bowls. So I got the clear bowls. I only got two because, you know, not many really, it's not a lot of people that be over here so got two of those and then nikki stole one of my glass plates and took it home so i bought a another glass plate more so like the cleaning products i went to dollar tree for this one specific item because i seen it on tiktok these you can put on your swifter swiffer whatever however you pronounce it little mop and basically it's just a microfiber mop and it's reusable so like you can wash this and reuse it over i bought two but you can definitely wash this and reuse it so i liked the way she was using this so after i actually mop with like the mop pads i'm going to go behind it and mop with this to make sure all the dirt is gone so that's originally what i went in there for and then hmm. excuse me I saw this also it's another microfiber duster mop pad so basically this one is reusable too so this one is what I put on my other um like swifter sweeper instead of the mop and how I can like sweep and dust the floors that way so that's what I'm going to use this one for and then I was in there it's the Dollar Tree you know you get to grab and stuff so I got another duster because the one I had is really small and my apartment has been accumulating a lot of dust lately so i got a duster um <laughs> this was a random buy for no reason at all um if you saw on tiktok those little ice carved out things are going viral so literally these are the what is this called spear ice mode so you fill it up with water and then when you pop them out they're going to be like little circle balls of ice it's been really aesthetically pleasing and popular on TikTok. So, I mean, I got it rather than buying it from Amazon for like, what, $5 or something. I bought two Airwick refills. And then I got some, um, I put this in my refrigerator. So you can put in your refrigerator, gym bag, shoes, whatever, baking soda. And I always buy these. You're supposed to get a new one every month. Write it right there. And yeah. And then the other two things I got for prints is how freaking cool is this? It's a freaking flashlight waste basket. I just bought a waste basket thing, but this one literally has a flashlight. I do take them out at nighttime sometimes, and instead of flashing my own phone light, I can just flash the flashlight. Um, I like that better because on my phone, 
when I have the flashlight on, sometimes my freaking like screen will be bright and I like to see my like surroundings and stuff. And then I just got him this like little mint bone. He likes the bones from there. And I also got some more cotton pads because I'm running low on those. Um, oh, Walmart. I went and picked up my prescription per, um, I have a doctor's appointment this Friday. Just, they gave me a four day supply, but I need a three month supply. It's sleeping medicine. Um, and then I got this for Prince allergy medicine. Um, yeah, the doctor said that he can take it for his, um, his back paw. I believe he has allergies. He's always looking at it, licking it and yeah. And then this one, I decided to get this for my belly button piercing. I am still using the H2 Ocean, um, but a lady told me to get this who was doing my um, like non-invasive um, like surgery, like, um, like laser lipo. She told me to get this because I had to take my belly ring out. And I was like, what is this? She told me to spray this on there to get the belly ring out. And she was like, this is what she always recommends. She also does piercings and stuff. So she recommended me to get this, so I got it. Um, to maybe speed up my healing process and stuff. I'm gonna use both of them, but we're just gonna see how this helps. And yeah, that's pretty much my little haul or whatever. Um, I was gonna go into work today. I may go at like midnight, but um, yeah, I'm about to clean up a little bit. I'm probably gonna cook me either ribs or chicken and dumplings, probably ribs because I can just throw them in the oven and then cook them for like an hour and 30 minutes and then I should be almost done cleaning by then. My apartment isn't that bad. I just wanna like mop and clean my shower and stuff. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm about to give Prince his bone right now. Let's see if he likes this one. I usually give him bacon flavor, but since he just started to like the greenies again, um, I decided to get the mint flavor. His vet recommended him get the greenies because Yorkies and their teeth or whatever, they're known to get bad teeth basically rather than like a um, taller dog. And he's like jumping up for it right now. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> Come over here. channel today's video i am going to start by vlogging i am getting a new doggy today prince is going to have <laughs> trying to squeak the toy again because i started recording prince is going to have a brother nikki is here with me she is going to be riding with me we have to drive about two hours to go get him um he is a soy poodle and having these <laughs> No, <laughs> Once I get him, I'll sit down and ask some more questions that I feel like you guys will have when I get back and have him here. But yeah, it is actually 10, 20 in the morning right now. Um, like I said, it's gonna take about two hours to get there. I told the lady that we'll leave out about 10, 45. So we're making good timing right now. And yeah, I'm gonna take Prince with us so he can see, meet him when we first get him and pick him up, Nikki. <laughs> Why you? Hey, you know I don't know how to it's press start. It's already on. It's on. Uh, how do I know if I'm seeing them? Oh, uh, here. You can turn it. Okay. <laughs> you miss vlogging? Say hello, babies. We got Prince and we got Oreo. Her. And they in their shared car seat, which is going to work because Prince is three pounds. <laughs> but Oreo was just laying down. Why did you back talking? Yeah. And Prince was, it's look so at Prince. Cute. Oh. And what I tell you, that's the lady. Then yep, same lady, yep. Yes. Oh, Prince is like laying on his head. Boy, Oreo got a big old tongue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you got a brother, Prince. So cute. He's literally just like smelling all on his face, kissing all on him. Boy, y'all breath stank. <laughs> Ooh, we love it. <laughs> Look at you recording. That breath stank. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a treat. I'm still Prince, close. 
Yo chops. Boy, we finna be smelling like dog ass when we make it. Oh, he laying on his back. I got black ice spray. He like, you smell like a, what you smell like? Uh. <laughs> what you smell like? Yeah. <laughs> he like, he smell weird, mama. <laughs> he don't smell like he black. <laughs> and they both black. Exactly. Ooh, we gotta get you to your black side, baby. And we're just... mix right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your brother. What you got to say? <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say about this to your mama? Say, mama, you always coming with some ass. <laughs> he talking shit with that tongue. Oreo trying to relax, friends. Lay yeah. down. <laughs> Hi, baby. <laughs> took him out side I just got back from Walmart I went and bought his cage just let me put that together and then I have this collar <laughs> I buy okay. I buy cat collars because cat collars usually always have that little bill on here right here <laughs> and <laughs> Oreo <laughs> the dog collars that have the bill are usually so much higher so I just buy the cat collar one um, it works better um, I got the black one because it was the cheapest. I'm not about to pay a lot of money for just a freaking collar and a little bill. So this is the one I got. Like I said, I like cat collars. So I'm about to get him a bath right now. Um, Prince already got a bath. He's over there. Got his cage open because he's clean. Um, I have to clean Oreo. And I cannot bathe Oreo in my... I do Prince in the kitchen sink and then like I disinfect after. But as you see, I don't have a deep sink and it's not big. So I have to bathe Oreo. 
This is what I'm gonna use this one time. Prince have a prescribed body wash. So I'm just gonna bathe them in here. And I'm, I have a um, new shower head. If you watched that video, then you guys should already have seen me like install that by myself. So I have that light on, I have this light on. For more light, I'm gonna turn on my vanity light and get that on. So yeah, I'm gonna move this out the way. Me and Nikki got our showers out the way, so then we can just, well, I can just bathe them and then just disinfect this after so I don't have to wait. I usually let the disinfectant and stuff sit so we don't have to like wait because we've been out on the road, you know, dang there, literally all day. And I need to wipe up that water. So, so I'm about to do. He's a big old bear. <laughs> like, he's freaking huge. I love him. Ah, he's just literally not trained at all. Like, whatsoever. Four months old, <laughs> not trained. <laughs> I'm gonna try to bathe him in here. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing this ever again. I'm definitely taking him to the groomers forever. But I wanted to clean him since, you know, I want him to be clean. All right, I gotta put your collar on. Let's see if this will fit you. At least he stays on the towel. Prince will run around the entire house and not stay on the towel. He's actually staying on this towel. Let me put your um, new collar on, baby boy. It's a little tight. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit. I don't want it to be too tight. Good boy. It's a good boy. Raise up for me, baby. You raise up. There we go. Gotcha. Hold on, Oreo. Wait. There you go. Now you got a collar on. <laughs> boy, insane. <laughs> He's crazy. Stay on the towel, at least. Whew. Oh. Move, you don't want to be in here a while ago. Move, you can't be by all that toxic stuff. <laughs> he is insane. <laughs> insane. This is 
what I, someone asked where I get this from. This is from Walmart. It's just in the dog aisle, and I get the blue one. But the pink one smells good also. I get blue because they're boys. And I gotta spray some spray on ya. They <laughs> still. He dries fairly quickly though. Prince, he takes a minute. Now he smell like my dog. where I left off in this vlog but today is Monday so basically I guess like day two yesterday I picked up Oreo and I guess today is like the actual full day that I got with them um, we picked him up maybe like noon left yesterday and he is right here messing with me <laughs> and then Prince is right here you can see him so yeah um, Oreo is full of freaking energy. He is a klutz. <laughs> like, he knocks over everything. He runs into every freaking thing. Um, he was born March 10th. So, he's four months old. Um, right now, I'm kind of just cleaning up some stuff. Um, my apartment wasn't like spotless clean like I wanted to wanted it to be when I got him. So now um, I just cleaned up my bedroom. I just have to mop and then my kitchen. I'm just going to clean off like my island or whatever. I'm going to sweep and stuff in here and I should be pretty much done cleaning. Like everything was clean before. It was just like stuff kind of just thrown everywhere basically is what I'm doing like tidying it up. Um, and I'm actually about to try to attempt to put up my freaking curtains um i got some curtains from amazon i'll have them linked down below in my like storefront or whatever my bun is like not doing it for me today um i have a wig review to do today too so i don't know how that's going to go with this new pup um so yeah i just got done eating i was watching raven elise um i got this puppy gate up and then i got another puppy gate up over here because honey dogs ain't allowed in the kitchen okay if you know you know <laughs> We don't do that over here. So I got that set up. Um, he actually tried to poop on the puppy pad that's right here. He kind of like sniffed around a little bit. And then after he got done sniffing, you know how dogs got to like turn around and kind of like get in position. That's what he did. And his butt was kind of like off the puppy pad. But it's cool. Um, I kind of just was like, you know, no. Pick him up real quick. Only one little baby like turn popped out. Then I took him outside. Walked him for about five minutes. He didn't do anything, um, but that was right after he got done eating. Um, the breeder actually left this, well, she gave me this folder. Um, fun fact, I think I said it in this vlog, I'm not sure, but I was thinking that this lady is the same lady that I had bought my first Havanese from in like 2018 when I was in college. I was like a sophomore in college and I had got him, but I had picked up a summer job and I also had summer classes and I just didn't have I didn't feel like I was giving the dog as much attention as I would like to so these A State students they seen the Facebook post that I made and their grandma dog had recently passed so they bought it for her so I feel really good giving it to them but yes same, same lady gave me this dog let me put this me and Nikki were when I was driving I was like I think this is the same lady because I felt like I had to drive this far last time but I was going in a different direction. So I was like, if, stop boy. I was like, if this lady give me some books, it's the same lady. And what I mean by books is, I guess she gives everyone who buys from her a thing of books. The last thing of books that I got kind of was like about Jesus and stuff like that. Yes, so Steps to Christ, How to Know Him Better. She's a super, super sweet lady. So she literally gives just, you know, different books and stuff. And I literally still have the same books that she gave me, which is crazy. 
um and she also told me this time she's a midwife she um she just got done picking onions and potatoes like out of her garden so she gave me some potatoes super sweet lady get down and then this is his like folder with all of his information so a canine health record is what i got he was born march 10th 2020 he's a Puvenese. i like to say have a poo it just sounds better off the tongue to me personally and then her name and her contact information is down here um if you are local and like want to know whatever she does have another litter coming but i promised nikki that i would not <laughs> tell y'all yet because she wants to secure her dog first nikki did want like a mini like golden doodle or something but once she's seen him she fell in love because he does have that poodle mixed with him so it makes him like extra freaking fluffy so it's so cute he just went and laid in his cage but um yeah she is in mel melbourne arkansas so yeah but um yeah this is all of his records um uh, medical history deworming schedule all that kind of stuff she does all of that um the puppies are really well taken care of so i have all of this and then the other stuff that's in here she also gave me this for my last dog she swears by these vitamins they're called net vet labs or whatever so these are the vitamins and she told me to you can only get them directly from the company so she said she's been giving them to him you know since he basically can eat or whatever so i'm gonna finish out these vitamins and then look them up to order some more since this is what he's on she also told me that he loves liver and raw eggs um i know eggs is really good for dogs of course the protein and stuff but i never gave prince raw eggs because his stomach y'all know how sick prince get and he begins sick quick so i can't really feed prince stuff like that like raw liver and like raw stuff like that he can't do it but oreo can so that's a plus um i always see the little like tiktok videos and stuff where they be feeding their dogs you know all the good stuff and prince can't eat that and then this i just got prince rabies updated and prince just got his flu shot so i can be able to take them to doggy daycare it's a doggy daycare hotel spa grooming all kind of stuff all all of that in one um this is just my receipt from when i bought him and she also gave american canine hybrid club dog registration application because all of her dogs you know usually come registered and then this is the american canine hybrid club so it kind of just it's a certificate and it just kind of lets me know where you know he comes from so like his dad is listed on there all that kind of stuff and his dad was actually chocolate and his mom i think was like kind of whitish brown so i will try to do a closer up clip of him he's black and white his paws are white the tail is white his body's black but his body also has a dark chocolate coat on him and it's like so cool and then this is a health check form when he went to the vet she went and um took him to the vet and then this is like a puppy diary and kind of lets you know what is this I think it kind of tells you yes yeah, she gave me coupons for some food and then it kind of says other stuff about food this one she gave me is I guess this is what she was feeding him I think she was feeding him blue buffalo honestly but this is like some little dog ad I don't know and then it has some information on here and then she also gave some more papers of course I already got a dog so I already know all this but stuff about house training um security as an adult preventing problems she also gave this little like doggies plea you can pause if you want to read that and just you know just a whole bunch of stuff um so super cute and then this so yeah she she's a really good breeder um i i had a feeling it was the same lady because having these are really really hard to find especially in the state of arkansas where i'm at if you didn't know i live in arkansas don't nobody got no Havanese and half the people here don't even know what a Havanese is like I've been saying they're like what, you, what kind of dog you getting I'm getting a Havanese but what's that and then I gotta show them a the picture so yeah super sweet um I'm about to try to put together my um well try to hang up my curtains um it's kind of tall I may have to wait till my boyfriend comes next week my birthday's next week so I may have to wait till he comes but I did want to unpackage it can I just show my address cut it out 
here's the package. <laughs> That's probably the rods and then uh, here's a bigger package right here. Okay, I'm gonna open this little box first. Dead broke is in your nigga DNA. Ricky Smile is indicated with me. Little nigga, just another steak case. Very now, motherfucker, chase bank, trying to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas push it, so I gotta rebuy it. The nigga tripping like I got a zillion dollars. Got the truck jumping like a tank when the feet pop in the mouth. I am the actual person who reads instructions. <laughs> okay, so you place. You're supposed to place these rings in between the holes of the curtains. Reduce the harsh metal. Oh, okay. So these little clear rings are to reduce the like metal noise when you put it together. I don't really care about that, so whatever. I want to measure out my space because these aren't your traditional curtain rods. I got the curtain rods that you kind of like roll in together. So each end you kind of like insert like that. So this isn't the one that like open in and out. Get down, leave my charger alone. That's another thing about Oreo. Prince did not bite on stuff. Like he wasn't the dog who stop, stop. He wasn't the dog who like bit on shoes, chargers, blankets, nothing. Now he be biting in my panties, but that's it. Oreo is biting everything, like <laughs> everything. He's four months, yes, he's teething. I know that of course, but like Prince, he didn't bite anything when he was teething. I had like a little teething dog toy and he would like bite on that, that's it. So I guess I'm gonna try a little teething dog toy and see if he likes that. Um, he is playing with toys, so that's good. Replace or add to adjust length. Okay, so this is the one saying replace or add to adjust. This is the end and this is the end. So I need to add these in. Screw that one. Screw this one. And then I'm going to screw this one. I'm going to leave that extra piece off until I see how long this one is. I'm gonna raise this back up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Whatever. Okay. So I think I need to add that piece because this is like just exact of how long it is. So I'm gonna unscrew this side and I'm gonna add this little piece. That's an extra, what, inch? Possibly. So now let's see how long this is. Okay. That one works. It's just I'm not tall enough to screw this stuff in. I think I may do right about here. That should be okay. Yeah, right there. I may be able to nail that in. I'm standing on my bed right now. If you didn't watch, I got that new bed. So you can go watch that video. I'm gonna try to drill it in. All right, if you hear construction, sorry. They're doing it right outside my stuff. Stole this from my dad. Sure did. I didn't steal it. I got it like a year ago when I moved. <laughs> he gave it to me and I kind of never gave it back. Maybe like two years, let me see. Okay, I really think I need to go take him outside though. Last time we've been outside was two o'clock. It's just about 4.30. So I think I'm about to wait on this and go outside just so he doesn't pee in the house because they just Prince is good, he's not gonna pee in the house, but they just start drinking a lot of water. So I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'll be right back. See, why does it say it's charged and it's not charged? Shit. Okay, 
while that crap is still charging i'm gonna go ahead and open up the curtains Um, these are blackout curtains. I got 52 by 84 because I wanted them to be really long. I know they work really well to block out the light. I just hope that they're as long as I want them to be. These are like really thick too. Like it feels really well and it's a thick material. So the inside is black, of course, to be black out. Let's hope they're long enough. I'm gonna test it out real quick. They don't go all the way down to the ground, but you can't really tell. And I need curtains really bad. I don't feel like turning, returning these and trying to find some more. So I'm gonna keep them. They're longer than the other ones that I had. They go down past like the window sill, so that's good. But they're not move. They're not as long as I want them to be. I let it charge up for a little bit. Hopefully, it's working now. Okay, so this is how they look. Um, I may, so they don't go all the way down. They do have some on Amazon that are longer, so I think I'm gonna order some that's longer. I am gonna keep these though, because on this side, I don't need it to be that long. So it's could because prints like to sit right here. So I still want it to kind of be like leveled. So it goes kind of just past it. So I think that'll be a good one to put over here, but they come in a two pack. So that's why I'm just gonna keep these, put one over here when I get my new ones in. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put any in my like living room area because I mean, I like how it looks like now. So I don't think I'm gonna add curtains, but that's just me talking for right now. Um, this is how dark it is in here. I'm gonna close this window shade. Let's see what happens. Of course, it's not gonna be completely dark. There. So when I come home in the morning, it'll be a little bit darker. And these are supposed to be like noise cancellation kind of. So. It's pretty dark over here in this section, that's good. And then I'll have this window shade closed. Oh, I do have my lamp on. So, not too bad. And then I'll usually have my door closed, TV off. So it's a lot darker than what it was because this light will be beaming in my eyes while I'm laying down. This one, I don't really care about. So, I like them. I'm glad I decided to get that type of curtain rod that just screws in 
Um, that made it 10 times easier. <laughs> and Oreo would not leave me alone. Really? Okay. <laughs> I just booked this groomer's appointment. It's next Tuesday, I believe. He's definitely not a prince. Prince will not, excuse my hair. I just got off work. Prince would not be sitting up and standing up like this in the car, like at all. I love this about him that he does this, but I'm on my phone too, so excuse maybe the noise or whatever, but we're about to go to his appointment. Um, I didn't bring Prince just because this is Oreo's first time like at the vent and stuff and I don't know. I didn't want to bring him along for this one. I didn't want to bring him along for this one. I may take him, um, like I may go to the dog park. Like we got a dog park here, but I may actually like drive to a different dog park and then take him. So this is Oreo's first time in the front seat. He's been in the back seat in the car seat back there. So we'll see how he's doing. He's sniffing everything right now. So try to keep him on. I got my scrub jacket right here just in case. But he shouldn't pee or anything. He didn't pee the whole two hours. Just so freaking spoiled. Prince, he was there. 
who's he there? Whenever he had got sick, they had like ran tests and stuff on him. And that was gonna be like 300 plus dollars. Literally, so I'm like, nah, but we got a plan. So when I did the plan, I didn't have to pay for anything. I paid maybe like $60 that day. So no, I probably was like 100 that day because I actually got the plan. So I'll talk to y'all when I actually get to the hospital because right now I'm just kind of rambling. when he's supposed to be hurting he got i went ahead and did him on the little puppy plant or whatever so they literally gave him like two three four shots the preventatives and like all kinds of stuff and he's supposed to be on chill mode right now and he is on go right now <laughs> all right so these are his papers he was 11 pounds. Um, vet recommended him to eat um, Purina um, Pro or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess I'll buy that because she said that helps like with their coat. It got vitamins in it, all kind of stuff like that. I'm actually feeding Prince Pro Balance. So I guess I'll probably just switch both of them to this new one. Um, it's not a very expensive brand. Stop. So um stop so i guess i'll do that um hey no oh you're trying to bite his papers i thought i was gonna be paying 71 dollars and 90 cents baby why did i come out paying 114 dollars okay because what the stop biting that little book. good morning today is august 2nd day after my birthday um this vlog with the dogs i think i'm just gonna keep like all about the dogs in this vlog but um today oreo is actually getting groomed for the first time um i officially had him for one week which was yesterday so i got him last sunday and then this sunday made officially a week so within that week he's been learning um he's been learning a lot i guess you can say um when i got him i think i already said he didn't know anything like didn't even know his name you know um, I guess he never had to go up downstairs before, all that kind of stuff. So what he's learned or what he has actually caught on to, obviously, is his name. He knows how to go up and down the stairs. Um, I've been teaching him sit um, and like cage training him, potty training. He's been doing, you know, it's kind of 50-50. He'll do it outside and then sometimes he'll have accidents in the house. It's life. So right now I'm actually, hey in here fighting right now i'm actually <laughs> about to go to walmart because i ran out of food with them um the breeder was feeding him blue buffalo i do not like blue buffalo not a fan um they also said not a fan do not feed your dog that <laughs> so i'm like i already know but she recommended um uh, purina um pro something but i already had fed prince pro balance um that one doesn't have any like artificial flavors corn wheat all that kind of stuff in there so that's why i like that one um so i think i'm just going to stick with pro balance since that's kind of what i've been feeding them um but he is going to get groomed today at pet smart um it's going to be his first one he has so much hair can't wait to get that cut down prince also needs to be groomed too but we're just going to take this one step at a time so yeah, I'm about to go to Walmart right now, get food for them, and then I'm gonna eat. I don't know if I'm gonna come back to eat or not. Um, and then, <laughs> hey, hey, and you dancing? Is that boy happy? Yes, that boy is happy. <laughs> so yes. And then uh, Nikki was trying to blame Oreo of um starting out a mess but it's really prince he'll get him going like or he'll be sitting down playing i'll put in some videos and stuff and pictures but he'll be playing minding his business and then prince and just start coming over there messing with him stop prince 
stop. So yeah, I'm trying to blame it all on my baby. <laughs> so yes, he's gonna be a different boy in a few hours. His appointment is at 2.30 in Prince. So yeah, just wanted to check in today. I'll get back with y'all when I probably get to Walmart and get their food. And then out you're scratching me and then get him groomed. I'm glad that puppies, I think his stuff is only um like $35, if I'm not mistaken. So that's not bad, plus tax. So in Prince, his is like 54. So I am glad that I do have a puppy right now. And then I'm waiting to hear back from the, um, I signed them up for, it's called Hound's Lounge here. Um, signed them up for it for it's like doggy daycare, hotel stay, pet spa, all that type of stuff. Um, Oreo can go to it until he's 12 months without being neutered. Prince can't do free play. He has to go to like a little private room, but I don't need Prince to go there because he's social. He's potty trained, all that kind of stuff. And Oreo has hella fucking energy and he just needs to be a little bit more social. Like obviously, yes, he has Prince and me and like when Nikki come over and Bay was here last night, um, so you finally got to see him and stuff. But it's like when I'm outside, he will like bark at humans, you know? Um, and then he'll bark at dogs, but just because he wanna like get to them. So I just want him to be a little bit more social, basically. And yeah. I'm still in here playing. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to lock them up. Not gonna be happy about that, but I gotta go get them some food. And then I gotta put up my birthday gifts. Um, Go check out my birthday vlog. I don't think I'm gonna put it in this one, but yeah, I got a birthday vlog coming. So make sure to look at that. All right, Prince Cage. About to lock Prince up. He knows what Cage means. All right, now you little wild boy. <laughs> and i only keep them in the cage when i'm um like at work when i'm at home they're out of the cage you know having fun get off my camera little boy all right mama gotta go get y'all some food i'll be back i'll be back all right and eat quick too He does not care for the cage. He will like bark and stuff, but he's been doing a lot better. Like when I first got him Sunday and like put him in there and stuff, he was going crazy. And now I've been like, I've been researching stuff online of like how to train dogs because Prince has never been this hyper. Like I've never had to deal with anything like this. <laughs> so um, one girl was like, she literally just sat down in front of the cage and was just like quiet, relaxed, quiet, you know, just repeating it over and giving treats. And I've been doing that and that's definitely been helping. Cause right now, as soon as I put him in that cage, he will start barking. So it took a minute, so that's good. But I'm about to go get their food right now. Um, I can't wait to switch over into my tote bag. I've been with this purse for at least like three years now. Um, I got this for one of my birthdays like some years ago or Christmas one of them. I'll be back. So yeah, I'm not gonna take my camera just because I only got a few minutes left. I'm gonna record when I get to Walmart off my phone. Okay, so I didn't vlog when I was in there. I'm a horrible vlogger, oh my gosh. And plus I haven't really like, I've been vlogging, but I kind of took a little like month break. Um, 